All right, back again, Matt here from Matt and the Fam. I don't think I did the introduction on my last video, but it's okay. So this video, I'm going to give my uneducated <laughs> guess, hypothesis of what I think might happen. Um, I don't even know if that's the right word. Anyways, so with the success of the last dance, <clears throat> excuse me, obviously my Jordan cards are bound to go up. And they, they go, you know, they were lower before that, but they're up now. <clears throat> but they were still, you know, one of the higher cards before that. I think that there might be a, a I haven't looked into it too much. I, know, I thought I saw some reports of a Kobe Bryant documentary, kind of the same same kind of outline as uh, The Last Dance or a, a mini series type thing. So if that happens, then, you know, obviously Kobe prices are going to go up. They're, you know, after his passing, they've been up. Um, but the, the support players around him, I think, will go up as well. Just like, the, you know, Dennis Rodman, Scottie Pippen, Crew Coach, all those guys. Um, you know, all, all those cards, you know, went from 30 to $300 and, and so on. So I've been buying up kind of some support players from uh, the championship years that, um, from the Lakers, Kobe. So I'll just go through them real quick. I want to get, I don't know, 10 or so of each player, of like the main players, maybe five, I think it's five, probably be a realistic number um because some of you know some of the players probably won't you know they might be in the documentary a little bit but won't have a, a big story arc um but they they could still go up so i got two so the 2001 um upper deck flight team vladimir Rodmanovich with psa 10s Got these for got this one for eight fifty. Got this one for fifteen sixty. So it's uh team three look here. Yep. There's that. This is a two thousand four, two thousand five finest red refractors. Uh, top's finest, um, Sasha Vujicic. I'm probably not saying the names right, but um, it's a an autographed. Is it never? Yeah, never out of sixty one out of seventy nine. So the autograph is a nine. The card is a nine point five. <clears throat> uh, centering edges and surface all have a nine point five, and the corners have a nine. Picked that up for 17 bucks. <clears throat> and then Andrew Bynum. One, two, three, four, five, five Andrew Bynums so far. So Beckett 9, uh, 2005, 2006. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bowman Chrome X Fractor. X Fractor, that's what it says. Uh, so it's a nine. Got that for twenty-four dollars. I apologize if the camera is moving. I just have a little this little wobbly table. So upper deck rookie debut. Uh, autographed. Is this numbered? Autograph is a 10, card is a 9.5. Uh, centering corners and surface, all 9.5. And edges are 10. How do they both get 9.5? No, it's bigger. <laughs> anyway. Um, I picked that one up for 17.50. Uh, so 
the SP Authentic autographed. Is it numbered? I don't believe so. Not numbered, so the autograph is a 10, card is a 9.5, centering 10, edges 9, corners and surface 9.5, got that for $21.30. I got two SP game used edition, I know they're, they're a little bit different. One's a pair, so I'm sorry. SP game used. Uh, it's a 9.5. Got this one for 13 bucks. Upper deck. And then this one's a parallel edition. Uh, this one's a 9. Got this for 11 bucks. Here, plane or helicopters. Three Jordan Farmers. Farmer, Farmer. Uh, 2006 Finest, Top's Finest. Uh, PSA 10 for 1250. And then two of the 2006-2007 Lear. I'm just gonna use just a base. Got these for nine bucks each, both nine point five. And then, so if that does, if the documentary does come out, if they, or they do something, um, I think one guy who's gonna have a big story arc in it, kind of the the. Dennis Rodman of the group, I guess, kind of, uh, would be Lamar Odom because of all his um, off-the-court stuff that ended up going on with him. And my, my wife read his book, and she said it, she thought it was interesting, and she didn't know how much of it was true. And it was kind of was like, I wonder what the, you know, the players on the team would say about whatever went on. I didn't read it, but I think he would have an interesting... So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Lamars. Um, this is a die, which I, I really like die, die cut cards, and I just think it's so cool. Uh, so Stadium Club three by three, Luminous PSA ten. Got this for twenty eight bucks. Got two. Skybox EX cards, uh, one PSA 9, one PSA 10. This is for 19 bucks. This one for 38.50. Uh, Stadium Club CHR. I don't know what that stands for. There's Stadium Club, PSA 10, that was for 1250. Uh, Tops Chrome, PSA 9, 625. That's a cool looking card. I really like that. <clears throat> Skybox Impact. PSA 9 for 625. These two might have came together. 1250. Uh, this is the hoops. This is a PSA 8. I got it for 6 bucks. It says, it says 10 on the front, but I got it for 6 bucks. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, like I said, this is all just kind of a hunch. Hope it pans out. I mean, as a, <laughs> I'm going through these and start tallying it up in my head, I'm like, man, I spent a little bit of money. Uh, so there's still, I actually have a whole list on my phone 
I went through all the rosters from all five championships with Kobe. And wrote down, have all the names written down. Um, obviously, they're doubles from different years. Um, and I just had to kind of weed through that list of guys who I don't think would be part of the big storyline. You know, go through stats and see see what happens. See if, if there's any off-the-court stuff I can think of or look up that happens and start buying those guys. So this is it. Let me know. What do you think? Do you, do you think they're, they're going to make anything like that for Kobe? Um, there's a few other things in my mind of uh, teams I think they would, could do this with. You know, more than just a 30 for 30 type thing or E60. It could be like, like a mini series like um, Last Dance. Uh, the Bad Boys of Detroit would be a good one. Um, the, you know, the Magic teams, the Bird team. Could be good. Um, the the Boston team, the big one, the, oh, what was it? Kevin Garnett. Oh, who? Uh, Rondo, right? And Paul Pierce. Did Ray Allen go there? Ray Allen was there, right? Anyways, that, that uh, Boston team could be a good one, too. Um, For me, being an important guy, I think it'd be cool like the early, the um, JL Blazers, <laughs> what we called it, but the, the time where they had like, it was like, <sighs> could be over exaggerated by saying 30, but like 20 something seasons in a row where they made it to the playoffs. So it was, you know, just like a good run, good run. And they just, you know, just kind of get over the hump of LA most of the time. Um, but I think that would be cool. So stuff like that, I'm just thinking, trying to get ahead of it if they do. I mean, imagine buying up a bunch of Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodney cards and even Jordan, if you can afford them, the price is, you know, went up 10 times. So that's just my, my hunch when I'm trying to do. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any, um, thoughts of what other teams Something we made out of, um, you know, Tom Brady when he retires. There could be things about him, and then, you know, any sport really, any good like dynasty team or cool thing like that. Thanks for watching. God bless. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I think I have like one subscriber, so I'm doing pretty good. All right, happy hunting. Go pick up some cards.